All right, man, Tokyo Talk. Good morning, good morning. Wake up, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning to y'all, man. Good morning. Thank you be taking so long to come on sometimes, man. I don't know what's up. Hey, good morning. Look, so King of the North, you know what it is. Hey, man, look, so today's episode, we're going to be talking about Joe Buttons talking about Drake saying that Drake needs to tell everybody how he feel about this battle. You know me. I don't think he should tell anybody anything. But we're going to listen to Joe say how he feel and all that good stuff. So I feel good. I feel so good. I feel good. I feel good. feel good this morning, man. Been doing some studying. Have a better outlook on life as a man. Ah, oh, but really the king. Damn, boy. <laughs> Hey, look, so <clears throat> we're going we gonna to get into this. Legendary Spill, this is Torture Talk. Like, share, subscribe. You know, all that good stuff. All the beautiful, sexy ladies put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones that just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, links is on the screen. Cash app, PayPal is in the description. Hey, look. I'm about to delete my PayPal for some reason. I can't log in. So don't send money to PayPal. So it's just basically cash app. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. So I don't know what happened to my PayPal. I, it's out of here. So I'm taking that off. PayPal's in the description. Uh, uh, all that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? So what was that? Oh, they called me the Hidden Gem. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over 2,000 subscribers, uh, 1,200 subscribers. Somebody called me. So I'm looking over there. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> you know, so I, I, get, I get distracted real easily. And let me know where you're from, too, man. So, look, we're going to get into this, man. I know I botched that, inter that, that in uh, interview. That's all I was about to say. I know I botched that beginning. And you know I don't like to edit stuff out. So, I like to be pure, you know what I'm saying? Pure, like I got a wipe. Pure. So, look, we're going to get into this clip, man. And uh, we'll be back to discuss. And y'all better not be laughing at my beginning of the video. I'm not high. I don't get high. You know what I'm saying? I never did a drug in my life. I never even had a drink. That's crazy. I never did drugs, and I never had a drink. Ever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I never smoked weed. Never had any type of drink. Nothing. Beer, wine, alcohol, nothing. Wine, beer, alcohol, nothing. I'm straight. Straight as the morning sun. Way. Clean as a whistle. You know what I'm saying? That's what people used to come to me for pee. Be like, I ain't giving you my pee. That's how, that's nasty. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me get to it, man. I'm, I'm, I'm going off. Look, so, and don't y'all be laughing at me, too. So let's get to it, man. <laughs> this comes from Never Give Up. Shout out to him. Subscribe, and let's see what the pie father is expecting a Drake in 2025. It's my Drake quota for the year, but this is what I will say. In 2025, I would love to hear vulnerable Drake make a return. Not mafioso Drake, not no face Drake. Like, just tell us how you feel for real once. I would love that. Yeah, I would love once. that. I don't, think I, think, I don't think he can no more. Why? <laughs> this is going to be a great one. He's absolutely right. The time for being sensitive is over. He's not you, Joe. That's the thing that Joe got to understand. Joe... Joe sees himself through Drake so much. He he lives he lives vicariously through Drake, and I ain't saying that in a in a uh, in a bad way. I'm just saying like he he sees a lot of himself in the, in Drake, and I think that Joe is saying if if Joe if Joe was a commercial sellout, I'm not gonna say sellout. If if Joe was a commercial type artist, he would be Drake. You know what I'm saying? He would be Drake. More of on the rapping side. But he definitely is emo. And I think that Drake falls into that category sometimes. It's manufactured emo, though. That's why I can't really feel nothing that Drake says when he's talking about something that's vulnerable or emotional. It doesn't really hit me like how Joe was. When Joe was vulnerable, it hit me. You know what I'm saying? Because some of the things he was saying, especially about relationships, I can understand. But let's keep it going. 
I think he the 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 brand has grown too big. The facade is too big for me to now sit here and be vulnerable and tell y'all what's really going on. You can do know, that. You can I'm do that keeping, at three a.m. I'm yeah. keeping. I'm keeping. You can try that at three a.m. It's fucked up right now. Here's three reasons I hate the Clio app. Number one, with the Clio app, I can get a cash advance of forty dollars. Right now, it well, mentally. So I gotta keep this looking a certain way to y'all. I can't tell y'all what's really happening. Well, if, if that's the case, then don't do all that at the DeMar DeRozan game if it's that. But like we, that's the I, I, you I, have had a year unlike you've ever had in your life. Mm -hmm. Worst year ever. I'm not gonna call it that. I'm just gonna say a year unlike any other year you've had in your life. Nah, 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 Joe. Don't be trying to backpedal. <laughs> he had the worst year of his career. Don't even try it, bro. Don't sit here and try to pretend like he did not. He had the worst year of his career, period. Ain't no way around it, bro. You can't, oh, I'm not going to, nah, you got to say it, bro. He got smoked bad. Ain't no way around it. He got smoked, and he, that's it, bro. You know what I'm saying? He got, he, you can see it on his face, bro. He trying to hold it together, but just to see somebody playing a song that's about you and it's getting awards and all this, ah, uh, nah, 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 bro. Yeah, yeah. Trust me. Life. Your pen is great enough to get in that bag. Oh, We've seen we it. Like, tell us how you really feel. About His pen is not. Joe, Joe, y'all, listen, bro. <laughs> you dudes got to stop this, this, this caping for this dude. Y'all got to stop this. Don't hit me with the, his pen is this, because his pen is not that. His pen is not that. It's someone else's pen, Joe. You know that. Don't hit me with the, your, this is your pen. No, it's someone else's pen. Why do y'all overlook that? You have to stop overlooking that. I hate when they do this. Stop overlooking that. It's not his pen, Joe. It's someone else's pen. That's it. He approves it. It's his approval. That's what it is. Come on, bro. About the, about the 1v20, morning, and just about where you are right yeah. now, but not in battle terms. Not in, I'm attacking, and I'm and I'm fuck these niggas. It's up for life. Give, give, me, that. give me the real in 2025. Yeah, I don't, that's I don't what I care. want, that 7 a.m. Like, like yeah, that, that, for, yeah, for real, yes. Yeah, yeah, that's what I want. I'm going to put it to you like this, and I've been saying this. The only way Drake makes a return is if he do a rap album. That's it. A complete rap album. No singing, nothing. A complete rap album and no disses. Just basically him rapping. Just do something totally different from what everybody expects. Something totally different. No singing, no predictable. Just go, just do a hip hop album, period. Just a hip hop album. You know what I'm saying? And if you are going to do something conceptually, you should do something that's surrounding the battle. You know what I'm saying? Call it comeback, like I said, call it comeback season two. You know what I'm saying? And you talk, and you go on in and say, yeah, I took an L to Kendrick. What you expect? The dude is, the dude is, the, he's, he's really good. You know what I'm saying? But I'm back stronger than ever. I learned from that, that loss. You know what I'm saying? That's what I would do if I'm Drake. I don't know who he got around him, but if, if he wants to get back to where he was at or even make a different splash, that's what he should do. You know what I'm saying? That's what he should do. Get your team of writers together and write a conceptual album. Something that's about the battle or something. I don't know anything. But that's the, that's the way you get back. Because you have to step out of your normal comfort zone. Because if you're going to keep going, I'm telling y'all now, he's going to drop this album with Party Next Door, and I'm telling y'all, I'm calling it right now. It's going to be so mid, it's not even going to be that great. I'm, I'm telling y'all now, if, 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 it's, if it's super fire... If it's super fire, I'll get on here and I will eat a, let me make sure I say this right before I make this bet. I'll eat an orange with the peel still on it. I definitely ain't eating no onion. I've seen somebody say that. That's not happening. No way. You know what I'm saying? I'm not doing that. But I will definitely do that. I'll eat orange with the peel on it and wash it off, of course. But I don't know how you feel about it. And I may not get it, but I don't think you're going to get it. That would actually probably win the fans back, too. It would. Mm -hmm. You're not going to get it. Because I'm going to get it. 
Yeah. I'm with Parks. I don't think it's happening. You might be right. And it's a mistake, though. So what you were saying... Well, um, the no-face video came and went. Everything has come and go so, after so, that. So at some point... Listen, you got high hopes for what this Drake party album's supposed to be, dude? I, I don't. I mean, I do because I love yeah, you know, party and R&B Drake, yeah. but... There we go. <laughs> like, Joe, I swear, bro. I can't with this dude. I know Joe Buttons likes... Uh, he been saying he likes Party Next Door. Even, he even said Party Next Door is better than The Weeknd. You are wildin' for that. You know what I'm saying? But it's just funny to me how a lot of... A lot of like. Everybody wants to be, oh, I like R&B Drake, or I like this Drake. No, bro. No, bro. Drake need to step out of his comfort zone, bro. His, he, he's been mid to trash for his last four to five albums. I don't understand how you even listen to people like Joe Button's uh, Drake. If you dra drop an album and your last couple of projects was mid to trash, like you had so many skippables on there. I, some of them joints nobody even remember. You know what I'm saying? Your albums come and go. An artist, an artist at his stature, albums should not come and go. No. Nas is, Nas is 50 something years old and he's making better albums than Drake now. Nas. And Nas is fire. Don't get me wrong. I'm, not, I'm just using Nas because he's an older statesman rapper. They think like he was never, they think like he was always better than Drake because he was always better than Drake. Let's just be clear. Even his trash stuff is better than Drake. But I'm just saying, like, you supposed to be keeping up or surpassing the older guys. And it's crazy to me that you <laughs> still out here making mid music. I don't call them mid music. Instead of mood music, mid music. That's that's what that's what gonna be the name of the cover of Drake's new album cover. Mid music. <laughs> that's actually think, happening? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But I don't think that's gonna move the pendulum the way that it needs to. Do you think that's coming before a new Drake? Something is coming? I think that's the new drink. Okay. Mm. I ain't spoke to nobody and I don't know nothing. Y'all know I ain't no OVO you, people hit me. Look, <laughs> you said um you said Apple called Kendrick uh rapper of the year, right? Yeah. So I was looking at that. I think it might be something there. We were talking about tech beef. Mm -hmm. I do think Apple saying that. Um Apple has also they got some kind of deal with the weekend. You know, there's beef there with the weekend and Drake. All of the app, new Apple shit is rolling out using the weekend. His new album rollout is all through Apple. Okay. The new iPhones, they shot the they shot his last video on the iPhones. The behind the scenes was shot on the iPhone 16. They premiered all of that with the premiere of the new iPhones. He just dropped a video last week that was made solely for the um, Vision headset, an immersive video. So like they got deals with him. If things went left with Apple and Drake. Now we go get your, your op. op. We have the deal with him, who's the next one of the next biggest, you know, on, on level. That's a that's a actually a really good analysis that he just did. That's really good. I didn't even think of that. I didn't even think of that because Drake was signed to Apple. Drake was signed to five labels at one time. One time. I don't know about now, but he was signed to Apple. But Apple calling Kendrick the, the uh, rapper of the year, it's not that. And it's and, and I want I want y'all to understand something. And when I say this, I'm not I'm not coming down on Drake. I'm just saying. Apple saying that Kendrick is the artist, the rapper of the year. It's not nothing that no one else would say. Everybody's going to say that every outlet is going to say that. Because he deserves the title, not because there's a beef between The Weeknd and, and Drake and Apple was working with The Weeknd and The Weeknd slid it in there like, look, get that to Kendrick, rapper of the year. I don't think that that's the case. You know what I'm saying? I think that Apple knows that Kendrick was the rapper of the year. Let's look. Let's We could go down the timeline. Like that, Euphoria, 616, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, Beat the Grams, Not Like Us. Uh, let the watch the party die. Those songs right there could be an EP. And Apple sees that. Everybody sees that. Like, come on, bro. Let's be clear here. I, I'm I'm just not I'm not rolling with that. But what he's saying, that was a great analysis. Shout out to him, man. <laughs> we don't fuck with you. Okay, Kendrick has knocked you down a peg. So now, okay, cool. We're gonna 
jump on we're gonna tag him as rapper of the year it, it seems like it's something brewing there i don't i could be jumping ahead of myself but i do think it's something to watch mm-hmm. That there, there's, 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 some, there's some tech shit going on it's, here. It's all, I think it's these companies, it adds up. I think these companies now are doing some other shit. Well, I think the companies, I'm with you on your Apple point. I also think some of these companies uh, make way too much money off this shit. Like Flognaw was on uh, Amazon. Yeah. yeah. The Kendrick shit was on Amazon. Mm-hmm. The Wayne shit. I like that Amazon. new wave. The- but I don't, all right, I'm going I'm to kind of disagree with, with, with that. I think that y'all be pocket watching these companies too much. And I understand that a lot of these companies do make a lot of money. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that. But I am saying that if you pay paying for their service, they're going to get paid. So let's say, for example, it depends on what type of contract you have, too. Because a lot of y'all think that these companies just be ripping people off. No, you got to read the fine print. You got to get a lawyer and somebody that knows the language, read it and tell you this is what it is. And then you got to have money to pay them to do all the research for you and all that stuff. Anyway. My thing is, when it comes to these companies like Apple and Tidal and, and Spotify and Amazon and all this something, they definitely want to get into that space with these big artists because you have to understand, you scratch my back, I scratch yours. Amazon is the biggest uh, retailer outside of, uh, I believe, uh, retail online. They're the biggest retailer online uh, outside of all these other markets. But still, in all, they're very big online. And Amazon Prime is 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 not as big as Netflix, but it's there. So you figure if you do a special on Amazon Prime, people are going to come and buy the service to see it. Kendrick is going to get paid. They're going to get paid. But Kendrick is going to get paid money and he's going to get paid promotion. Because people who are that don't know him is going to see that. I, I, I want you to understand. Everybody don't know Drake. Everybody don't know Kendrick. Everybody, they, it's a lot of people that know them, but everybody don't. There's people who really don't know who these people are. And if if you get on, on one of these platforms like Netflix or something like that, and they do a concert on their platform, what do you think is going to happen? People are going to see you from other countries that don't know who you are. That's just what it is. So I don't, I don't really necessarily agree with what they're saying about these companies be you know, well, I agree with they making money, but I don't think, I think it's just basically, that's how, that's business. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to ever make more than the house. Like, let's be clear here. You don't go to the casino and you think you're going to win more than the house. Like, no, it don't work like that. Dwayne, 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 I do Dwayne like that way. Amazon. Shout out to Tim over there, if that's you, Tim, doing that. And uh, shout out to Wayne on Mouse, because I see them covering everything that... Amazon is pulling over there. They they grabbing that crew and having them covered. That's really shout out Wayne on Mouse. Suck dick for life, nigga. Right. You know what time it is. You don't get no air, air time on this big broadcast. Fuck you, nigga. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> My guys. Hey, hey cool. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> Who the beef? Who, who's this beef with? <laughs> Joe got beef with. I don't. I, 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 so, let me address the first thing, and this is why I gotta call Joe out. He wants to hear how Drake really felt about the 20v1. This is the same guy a couple of weeks ago that said, all of these industry relationships are fake. So if all of these industry relationships is fake, why do you think that Drake... Drake really cares about all of these fake-ass relationships? I don't think he's at home really heartbroken that some of these people that he didn't grow up with, that he didn't come up with, that he only had a relationship with just when it came to business is really fucking him up and hurting him. We already heard him say, hey, the only one that kind of bothered me was Future because me and Future never really had an issue. But I don't know if he said that, <clears throat> but I kind of agree with him when it comes to that. Like when it comes to the whole, why you want to want to hear about that? You know what I'm saying? Like, no, shouldn't be that. It should be get him back to making whatever he can make. But I agree with I agree with never give up on that. Now the same guy who said out of his mouth that all the industry relationships is fake. Now you want to know what Drake feels about these fake relationships. 
then I hear somebody in the room say, oh, if he was sensitive and opened up about how it really affected him, it would win back the fans. <laughs> Yo, but it that also was funny. That was funny. I don't know who said, I think that was Lamont Hill who said that. But that was funny. Like, bro, listen, I'm going to explain something to y'all. And we're going to listen to a little bit and get out of here. Matter of fact, I'll explain it afterwards. Let's, let's get let's the ammo go. for the other side to say, oh, look, this is what Kendrick did to Drake. And it'll be ammo for Kendrick. Oh, yeah, I had him. I got him in his feelings. Oh, yeah, I did this to him. Like, what are we talking about here? It's almost like, is Joe trying to set Drake up? Because y'all know, if he even moves an inch, it'll be people all over YouTube and the internet saying, Drake admits defeat. Oh, look what Kendrick did to him. So, even if he does have some internal pent-up feelings, I don't think it would do anything as far as the fans. I think some Drake fans might be upset with him. If he got on the track and said, oh, it hurt my feelings that people was saying I'm weird and, you know, my mom and my dad have to deal with this and da 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 <laughs> Number one, to me personally, it would sound like a bunch of bullshit because I don't think Not Like Us is affecting this nigga's life. Damn, you are, I think, you are tripping, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you're tripping, bro. If you think not like us ain't affect Drake's life, you're wildin' for that. You're just as delusional as, as Drake is if you think that. That song 100% affect his life, bro. 100%. That song got him... You know what? I'm gonna end it there. Uh, make sure y'all go watch the rest on his channel. You know what I'm saying? Never give up. Shout out to him. Nah, that affected him, bro. You're bugging. I'm going to tell y'all something, and this is, this is the dead up truth. And I'm going to tell y'all exactly why Drake is not who he is anymore. Kendrick took the aura from him. He put him in a position where people see him as just a normal rapper. Drake was considered like a, he was considered a god. You know what I'm saying? He was on another level. He could do no wrong. Even when he do his silly dances, people gave him a pass. He had this, he had this great pass with everybody, no matter what. When it came to the writing, the rapping, the stealing songs, the borrowing songs, or taking songs, whatever you want to call it. Got to this position now where he battled Kendrick. You have to understand, when the Alpha fights the Omega... Only one's coming out. I would definitely say that Kendrick is the Omega and Drake could have been the Alpha. You know what I'm saying? Even though most people would probably say Drake was the, was the Omega and Kendrick was the Alpha, but I'm saying Kendrick was the Omega. You know what I'm saying? And you have to understand the yin and the yang, how it works. It keeps going like this. They're always going to go at each other. It's never going to stop. But the, but the issue that... that and you know the crazy thing about the yin and yang? If you look at it, it's, it's, it's always like this, but it's black and white. But there is some of, of uh, there's some black in the white and there's some white in the black. What that is saying is there is some of me and you and there's some of you and me. So if, you're, if you have a little bit of evil in you, it's in me. If you have a lot of uh, evil in you, it's in me. You know what I'm saying? That's basically what that dot is. That's what I, my interpretation. Don't steal it. Anyway, but um, I'm thinking that he took his aura from him. So now when people see him, they just see him as a normal person, a normal rapper. He doesn't have that. I mean, of course, he still is a big name artist, but he doesn't have that if Drake walk into the room feel. He's just normal. He's like a regular person. And I think it's good for Drake that he got knocked down off his pedestal like that because everybody takes a fall. And I'm telling y'all, the reason why a lot of these fans hate Kendrick so much because he hasn't fell and they want him to fall. So they're doing anything in, they, in, in their power to try to make it seem like he's going to fall or they're trying to make him fall. 
They're even trying to make up things to make them fall. I have an episode coming out about Taylor Swift where we're talking about that. And people were saying something about that. They already did a song together already. Why do y'all, why do y'all even, why are we even talking about that? But either way, but still in all, that's the reason why Drake is where he's at. He has no aura no more. It's nothing about him that's special. And I think Kendrick exposed that. With those four songs, he basically showed you the difference between the two. I'm, a, I'm this artist. Look at me. I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to give y'all four different type of rap styles. And they're going to be about him. And they're going to be f they're going to be super fire. That's what he did. What Drake do? He gives if push up sounds like family. Uh, push ups sounds like a, um, a family matters. Taylor Mays freestyle is in, in, in between. But Taylor May freestyle, the way he's rapping on there, ain't nothing special. And then um, you got um, the hard part six. Where you just rapping regular over a fire beat. I could imagine if they gave Kendrick that beat. That beat, man. <sighs> That's one of the best beats I heard this year. That beat is super fire. Anyway, but either way, man, thank y'all for being here with me this morning. I love y'all. Have yourself a good morning. 12 o'clock show coming up, man. I'll see y'all, man, on the 12 o'clock show. I'm out of here. Peace. Bye. Look at it. It's messing up. <laughs>